Hey kids! In today's video, we will be learning about caves. Are you ready? Let's begin! A cave is a natural hollow space under the ground that has an opening large enough for a person to enter. Caves range in size from tiny passages to huge systems of connected rooms and tunnels. Large caves are often called caverns. Let's go over the types of caves. Most caves are called solution caves. Solution caves most often form in places where there is a type of rock called limestone. Limestone is a soft rock that dissolves or breaks down easily in water. As water flows through small cracks in the limestone, the limestone dissolves and the cracks get bigger. Over a long time, these cracks become large enough for people to enter. However, not all caves form in limestone. They can form in such rock as gypsum, marble, and dolomite. Caves may also form when melted rock called lava flows from volcanoes. The lava on the surface may cool while the lava beneath flows away, leaving a cave. Caves may also form when earthquakes cause large cracks in solid rock. Ocean waves sometimes form sea caves along the coast. The action of the waves removes soft rock and form hollow spaces. Some caves do not form in rock. Glaciers or huge areas of ice that move over land can form ice caves. As water melts on the glacier surface, it flows into cracks in the ice. The water then carves out caves beneath the surface of the ice. Now let's go over the features of a cave. After a solution cave is formed, water continues to drip into it. Minerals in the water are slowly deposited on the ceiling and floor of the cave. Over time, those mineral deposits or crystals build up into large formations. Those that hang down from the ceiling are called stalactites. They kind of look like icicles. Stalagmites point up from the floor. They usually grow under dripping stalactites. Sometimes, stalactites and stalagmites join together to form columns. Cave explorers are people who like to find and explore caves. They are also called cavers or spelunkers. Sometimes they wiggle through tiny passages just big enough to get through. Other times they walk through passages that are tall and wide. Sometimes they need ropes and special gear to cross or go down deep holes. Some cave explorers are also divers. They like to swim through water-filled caves. Cave exploration can be dangerous. Cavers are well trained to know how to explore safely. A person should never enter a cave without experienced cavers. Caves are the home of many different animals. Some animals found in caves include many different insects and spiders, types of shrimp, and some salamanders. Animals that live in caves have special characteristics to help them survive. Those characteristics are called adaptations. Cave animals may not have sight, but their other senses are highly developed. For example, insects that live in caves usually have very long antenna to feel their way around. Now here are fun facts about caves. Caves also provide shelter for humans. A 
cave is also called a cavern. Exploring caves is called caving, potholing, or spelunking. Speleology is the study of caves. The world's longest cave system is Mammoth Cave in the U.S. state of Kentucky. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about caves today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!